Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by Alex in Cape Town. He is an awesome creator. He does video and photos um, that are really incredible. His style is really lifestyle and I really love that about him because my style is a bit more constrained, I think. And um, I love the freedom you have in your photos and like the eye you have. And even the other day when we spoke about photos, you kind of, you said that you look more at the surroundings as much yeah. as you look at the model. Yeah, so coming from like a landscape background, kind of like 50% 50, 50 model, 50% it's surroundings. Yeah. That's amazing because yeah. when I shoot, I usually just see a model and yeah. <laughs> just point my camera but and I'd I'd say you're probably like better than me at posing. Okay. So you have probably way more experience in that regard. But it'll be cool to see like our different styles. Yes, exactly. exactly. That's what we so are here. the whole thing today is just kind of show how having the same given the same model and the same outfit so we can just create different things depending on our style yeah, and exactly. what our work is like. So um, I hope you like this challenge. Challenge. Uh, if you do, make sure to check out Alex's Instagram. Make sure to follow him there. He posts some really, really awesome stuff there. And yeah, let's get right into it. Um, my main thing is just looking for like patches of light. So now I can just kind of see the sun slipping in through here. So I kind of wanted to place it on this it's a bit of like a triangle, I suppose. Um, so here on that point, and then um, the sun's coming in pretty harsh. So usually you like, um, most people like want their models in the, sh in the sun, but I kind of like it when it's slightly in the shade. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah. So look off into the, up there, nice. And then also kind of got the mountains in the background, giving it some kind of perspective. Uh, this is a Sony A6500 with a Metabone speed booster, so it makes it full frame. And then I got the, like an old Sigma 50mm 1.4. It's not the art one, it's the old EX version. I like my strong angles, so I usually shoot quite low. Um, I want them the mountains and the entire view to be behind her. So I just want the photo to kind of be really strong. Her pose is kind of really exaggerated and very elongated and so on. Lightning strikes by my window It's my chest right in the morning Like a warning Could have slept here for days. Okay, so this is my look. Um, I am going to be shooting it around this area here. I want it to be kind of, again, really sexy, kind of, you know, the shirt slightly open, you know, hips pushed out, all this kind of stuff. So we'll just start with it now. Yeah, that was really nice. I love the colors. I love the yellow against uh, the sand and just the kind of sun because it's getting much softer. So it's a really, really lovely color. And like her blue eyes and blonde hair looks really beautiful. So I'm really excited. Uh, I mean, I love this location. I've shot, shot here a couple of times before. I just kind of love this whole scenery, how it kind of just falls into the sea. Uh, so we're kind of going to play with that as we shoot. Uh, I'm kind of trying to want to get that backlit feel so the she's kind of got a nice rim around here with the sun coming just behind and then a bit of direct contact so she's going to look straight into the camera over her shoulder. Uh, I thought it went really well. Uh, there was like a time there when the sun kind of went behind the, like one of these small clouds and it gave like a really nice soft light. Um, so yeah, I think we've got a, really, a couple of really good shots here. So I'm uh, express fumigating the model. <laughs> I want her to be really shiny, as you guys know by now. I love my shine. And that requires quite a lot of olive oil spray. Yeah, it was pretty good. The sun was obviously gone by the time I started shooting. Um, so I kind of had to work with this kind of post sunset kind of look. Um, but it worked out pretty well. I got some nice shots. 
and um, yeah, I wish there was a bit more sun, but that's what I got to work with. Um, I wish I put a bit more oil on her, I think. That would have been nice, uh, because I felt like she wasn't shiny enough. Uh, but still, I'm happy with the shots, so... I really like this light. Uh, it's gone a lot softer since like 20 minutes ago. It's gotten a lot better, but now it's kind of very orange. So in post, we're gonna have to like really keep keep control of those oranges, make sure they're not too saturated. Okay, so we're just finished. What did you think about the challenge? I thought it was great. It was a lot of fun to kind of yeah. contrast of both our yeah. styles. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing yeah. your images and editing on it. I think it's a bit stressful because like you obviously want to, you have this pressure to like do something different from yeah, the other person. Exactly. Um, but obviously we have the same things to kind of play around with. So yeah. I'm, I'm really, I'm dying to see what you, yeah. what you come up with. And I think like we both like envious of, I'm envious of like how you shoot. Yeah. And yeah, I think it's also Pretty nice much, yeah. And it's yeah. cool to appreciate everyone else's work exactly okay guys i hope you liked this video if you did make sure to check out alex's uh, instagram again and his youtube channel because he does youtube as well he's an amazing videographer as i mentioned and yeah if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time